Claudette Morel is one of the original Survivor Quartet. She is a studious botanist able to boost her team's survivability as well as her own. Her personal perks are empathy, botany knowledge, and self-care, allowing her to spot injured survivors and heal both herself and her team more effectively. She uses her time out of the fog to collect potent plants found around the campfire to create tinctures that can stop bleeding. Empathy Unlocks the potential of one's aura reading ability. Dying or injured allies' auras are revealed to you within range. Empathy does not reveal auras of allies when they are in the killer's direct contact. Bonding knowledge You transform plants around the campfire into tinctures that slow down bleeding and increases healing speeds as well as the efficiency of medkits. Self-care this unlocks the self-care ability, allowing you to self-heal without needing a med kit. However, it reduces your healing speed by 50%. On a positive side, it decreases the depletion rate of med kits while self-healing. Claudette's surname, Morel, is the name of a species of edible wild mushroom. She's one of the few survivors who wears glasses, and it is heavily implied in Claudette's 8th birthday that she is on the autism spectrum. From the day that her parents gave Claudette her first science kit, she loved experiments. Her single-minded pursuit led to an early scholarship at a great college. It was a huge decision to leave Montreal, but the chance was too good to pass up. Her introverted nature meant that chat rooms and forums were now her best source of social interaction. Her new favourite activity is to answer botany questions for others under her new moniker of Science Girl. One evening, during a long bus ride back from the city, Claudette took a stroll that would change her life. It only took a minute for her to be completely disorientated in the thick woods. She never found her way back. The forum really started to wonder where she was a week after she stopped posting. Claudette is not the outgoing type. Her brilliance provided her with a social handicap, and she's fled the real world for chat rooms and forums. Bonnie and studies fill her life, even though she yearns for something else. It won't come via a modem. Being thrown into a real-life situation can feel awkward and forced. But as she is used to shutting out the world, she suddenly finds hope in the inexplicable darkness that is slowly devouring her. A plant, a tree, a bush, simple greenery that might save a life. She hides within and amongst them. Her knowledge and skills flourish as gruesomeness roams free around her. That's it for today's video. Stay safe, stay kind, and stay creative. I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. I try to post every Tuesday and Friday at 2am Australian Eastern Daylight Time or 9am Central Standard Time. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Please comment if you have something to say, and if you want to see more speed prints and animations, please subscribe. A very special thank you to my patrons, Dean G, Debbie G, Thomas H, and Greg W. If you want to support my art and see things first, become a patron on the link below. And please make your day a wonderful one. Goodbye!